Hi, my name is James Pretorius. Welcome to the 2017 Little Tiger Summer Camp. At Campus Memorial Stadium for my, I guess my real first annual soccer camp in conjunction with Global Premier Soccer. And um, it's been really fun, football fiesta, kids of all abilities are here from ages 6 to 15, just um, learning new skills, playing matches, learning new drills, and just generally working in a team. the same as if you compare it to Colombia uh, they still need to work a lot you know what I mean I would say technically they are really really gifted but uh, I mean if you see the shape in the field and stuff this there are still some stuff that we need to improve and the kids understand the game a lot more here uh, it's more of their culture whereas America you don't the kids are you know they have multiple sports so for them to pick up soccer, they call it football, um, it, it's more difficult. So these kids here have a, a better understanding just through the culture and the, uh, you know, there's football everywhere. So that, that, that's great to see and they, they definitely learn it uh, a lot quicker. collaborating with international partners which is fantastic because they bring their own exposure experience you know and their expertise to the table and I'm sure even the local coaches learn something a thing or two from them and the kids you know get to get the feel of what other children out, out there are, are experiencing so I think it's amazing what she's doing <laughs> international experience yes <sir. laughs> I'm not saying our coaches are not good though, our coaches are good though, but you know just bringing that foreign touch, just bringing that little, it's good, it's a good thing. I'm actually impressed with the little tigers, they did not fall my hand, not at all, not at all. You know, we're here for the last summer camp and now again we're here, if they were not good we wouldn't be here. And they just keep on impressing me because last year they didn't have this and then this year now they have foreign coaches. You know foreign coaches also come in, it's also going to also give these children this, um, what I say, to give them this joy more for football. The fact that I actually see foreign coaches come in here to train them, they're bringing in new ideas, new initiatives. It's a good thing. It's it. I'm quite impressed. I'm happy they are here. At least they'll come in with their own ideas to come and buck them up a little bit. So I'm glad. Structure. There's just no structure. So I'm I'm not gonna say infrastructure. It it plays it plays a big part. But all you need to play the game is just a ball. If, if you have a ball, then you can adapt. The ball, to little space, but there's no structure. Um, there's, there's no pathway for a kid, a 10-year-old, a 15-year-old, who wants to play. There are multiple rules in sports you mustn't actually play. There's, there's a coaching role, there's refereeing, and a lot of people have no clue about getting into this, this roles. I mean, 
In terms of the development and, and taking that next step to professionalism, it's like the money is a problem. Like if you look at America, the facilities and just the structure, there's just so much money put behind it, which, which helps it, like, you know what I mean? And there's like so many leagues and it's just very, very big. Whereas here, that step to professionalism is just like, it's very tough, you know, there's like only one level above. It's very, very hard. So I think if we could like improve our facilities and like our structures, you know, at clubs and, and have the development starting from young, like these boys, you know, from seven, eight years old, getting them in that professional environment, professional coaching, it will really help the, not only Nigeria or South Africa, but the continent, you know, because the continent is rich with talent. Coach one and Coach Greg, they have taught us a lot of things, like how to keep, how to defend, and, and how to strike. I learned a lot here because I didn't actually think I'll have fun here because I'm going to be the only dog. It's really amazing. I've really enjoyed myself. Learned a lot from the foreign coaches, and they are really to help out in any area of football that they are, they are, that you have issue with, and they are really they've really been good helping out talking to the kids, talking to the coaches and trying to improve the academy as a whole and youth development in Nigeria because they are here to impact knowledge on us as Nigerian. So I'm real grateful to them. That way you can attain the ball and pass the ball straight to the people's hand. You know what I mean? We don't want to see balls going everywhere. If you hit the ball here, where do you think it's going to go? Up. It's going to go up. Up. If you hit the ball here, where do you think it's going to go? Go down. Won't even go anywhere else. It's going to bubble. It's going to drop our left shoulder. Okay, and push out to the right. Okay, then we'll keep going. You're bringing it. Very good. Very good. Very good. The difficulty lies mostly with the financing. As far as getting a location goes, if you're well, if you if you plan properly, you can secure a good enough location on time. The problem is really the financing. I mean, I've been fortunate. Um, well wishers, club members, they also help raise some money. But generally, we have to rely on the the numbers. So if the numbers are not too good, then you generally don't make anything. You just kind of break even. So for me, this is the major first year. I just wanted to do something good, something of a high standard. Um, so for now, it's not really about making money, but that has to change because football is really, I mean, it's a billion dollar industry and it takes a lot to run a good operation. You have all sorts of health and safety requirements that costs money. You need staff that costs money. Um, and of the equipment, you need good equipment. And another reason why we collaborate is so we can, you know, benefit from access to decent equipment at lower prices. So for grassroots, um, yeah, it can be a bit hard. But I mean, you just have to keep on pushing and pushing, meeting good people that are interested in the industry, that are ready to help. So that's how I would, I've been fortunate enough to put this together with the help of people behind me and my loyal supporters. The best grades from what I've seen, guess who's gonna be? Bobby! Bobby Naka!
Simmons. You made it. Thank you for coming to this year's camp. I look forward to seeing you next year. Bye.